Good morning, dear colleagues. I'm happy to welcome you to the second international expert exchange held by You Lead with Europe. The program You Lead with Europe, it's the program of empowerment and accountability at local levels, which is financed by the European Union as well as the member states, German, Denmark, Sweden, Poland and Slovenia, as well as Estonia. My name is Evgen Duchovic and I am pleased to be the MC of today as well as tomorrow. I am senior advisor in You Lead with Europe. I'm very happy to see you today and I'm very happy that you join us today. It's a great pleasure and honor for us. We are holding such a big event online and I hope everything will work out well. So a few things about our event. The reform of local self-government very recently changed the basis for the implementation of regional policies. Today we have 1,469 territorial communities that already have the power, the mandate and resources to develop their own strategies of development and implement them in line with their own visions of how to make the lives of their citizens better. Therefore, the today's name of the title of today's event, the trust, institutions and people, the empowerment of communities, it's about the key pillars that have to stick together and fit together as the successful implementation of the strategy at local level. In 2021, Ukraine enters this year with a new paradigm of planning for strategic development at regional levels. And this is already part of the strategy of uh, local regional development. It's part of the strategic document that had been preparing for a long time and was recently signed into effect and um, as well as adopted by the Parliament of Ukraine. So because of all of these events happening so recently, I believe that this is a really apt time and a wonderful opportunity for us all to get together, collect these um, all of the experts, Ukrainian officials, foreign representatives, uh, representatives of Ukrainian self-governments in order to see how the strategy of self-government at the regional level will be implemented and what priorities we are going to pursue. Today you will hear the opinions of experts from a great number of countries, about 10 or 12 foreign countries, the United States, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Poland, Slovenia, Serbia, and a number of other countries. And I believe that, first of all, today's expert discussion will be very useful, professionally speaking, but also for those who are just interested in the development of regions and the amalgamated communities development will also find something helpful for themselves. And now we need to move on to the welcome speeches because we have already taken three to four minutes because of technical uh, problems. Now I would like to give the floor to our first speaker. This is Ms. Olga Stefanichina. She's Deputy Prime Minister in European and Euro-Atlantic Integration of Ukraine. Ms. Olga, the floor is yours, dear participants, guests and organizers of today's conference. For me, it's a great honor and privilege to uh, present here at the opening of this event and I'm hoping that today's discussion will become a wonderful platform for discussing the achievements as well as plans in the reform of decentralization that we are facing with today. As uh, Deputy Prime Minister for European and Euro-Atlantic Integration, it makes me proud to say that the government is doing everything in order to focus not only on financial decentralization and uh, uh, forwarding the powers to the local governments, but decentralization of entire state policies because the European Union and NATO is something that we are pursuing as a whole country. Therefore, the priority of European integration for us is at the top of our agenda. The reform of local self-government is not the main part of our association agreement or the obligation for NATO association, but this is a main element of democratic transformation for Ukraine, one of the most successful reforms that has been going in Ukraine since the times of the revolution of dignity, the strengthening and the development of local regional governments in order to achieve the constitutional purposes, as well as gaining the status in NATO and the EU. The decentralization brings us closer to EU because we are delegating authorities and dividing political priorities and strategies, not only at the central uh, region, uh, regional level, but also at local regional levels. So today in Dnipro and uh, uh, Kharkivsky region, we have many hubs set up in order to swap experiences, knowledge and um, in order to invite investments for Ukraine to go into the market of the European Union as well as other worldwide markets. 
and to, to be supported in terms of European standards at the level of legal base and um, bylaws. So for me, it's extremely important to stimulate Euro integration in regions because so much has already been done at the central level and we want uh, th this knowledge is not concentrated only in Kiev. And one of the main tools that I have un underlined, this is the Office of Euro Integration. And such offices are going to be ushered in Poltava and Khmelnytsky next year. And we are happy that a lot of regions in Ukraine, amalgamated territorial communities, have already appealed to us in order to set up such offices in their regions. I'm sure that this is a wonderful initiative that will help us to concentrate and consolidate our efforts in order to use and tap into the best potential that we obtain because of our um, trying to enter the European Union. And now we see the results of such integration or efforts to integrate into the European Union and the first piloted project of the state policies. It's not something that we do in order to enforce our powers, but on the contrary, in Khmelnytsky, they opened at the basis of one of the state-owned enterprises a Swiss Confederation in order to invite and attract investments. It's not only one of the successful examples of collaboration with the foreign commerce, but one of the good examples of supporting a local enterprise, creating new jobs and promoting new opportunities and exchange of industries as well as scientific cooperation. And such examples are already numerous and I'm happy that today in these discussions, we have an opportunity to demonstrate these results and share them with you. Thank you. And I wish you to have a wonderful discussion and very interesting talks. Thank you, Ms. Olga. Thank you for your warm words for this beautiful uh, welcome speech. I believe that because decentralization is not part of our Euro integration, but in no way is our entry of the European Union possible without a powerful and capacitated um, governments, local governments. And in this respect, of course, it's invaluable. So, in order to hear what the European Union thinks about the Ukrainian decentralization, about the shift in the paradigm of the uh, governmental policies, I would like to give the floor to Ms. Ma Mr. Mati Masikas, Ambassador of the European Union to Ukraine. Please, the floor is yours. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I welcome the participants of the of this year's International Expert Exchange on the Development of Municipalities. And I thank the organizer, organizers, the EU Lead with Europe, which is one of the biggest and certainly most successful cooperation program in the field of decentralization worldwide, with an overall budget of uh, 140 million euro. I'm proud that uh, the model of this program where the European Union support is reinforced by member states providing their own contribution. Member states, Denmark, Estonia, Germany, Poland, Slovenia and Sweden. Um, following the forum organized by ULID a year ago, I'm very happy to see that it's building its tra tradition as a well-established platform for international experts' exchange on decentralization. The timing of the conference is very pertinent. Um, yes, the year 2020 will be remembered worldwide by, mostly by a pandemic, but the year of 2020 is historical for Ukraine in terms of decentralization. We are marking the completion of the key stage of reform. The administrative map of the country uh, is now redrawn based on a new structure of the local self-government. The recent, uh, recent local elections uh, held on that basis were, uh, were a milestone in this process. Last week, I visited Dnipro and Lviv and I, I could once again see how dynamically Ukraine develops outside Kiev as well. Uh, I did visit the ULID office in Lviv and uh, had an opportunity to, to uh, exchange uh, with the newly elected mayor 
from the region and and I was able to discuss with them how they are getting ready to take new responsibilities. Um, the <laughs> is astonishing. Over the, over the year of 2020, Ukraine finalized a five-year-long process. Nearly 11,000 settlements and villages have now been amalgamated into 1,469 municipalities or romadas. The reform was uh, widely welcomed by the people of Ukraine and, and it was indeed commended by international community, uh, by us who have been providing support. Um, it is clearly one of the biggest success stories of Ukraine since the revolution of dignity and as uh, Deputy Prime Minister Stefanishna just said, indeed it has brought Ukraine closer to the EU. The day after the local elections, Ukraine is entering a new era in which Hromadas have new resources and new responsibilities to exercise their rights for local self-government and thus best serve its, their citizens. But it's uh, of course no time uh, to rest on the laurels. Now it is essential that the reform will be implemented and fully embedded in state infrastructure so that its positive results can be felt uh, all across the country. In this context, context, I want to stress that decentralization is of course way more than just an administrative or admin, administrative territorial reform. In fact, decentralization is a cross-cutting transformation which impacts on many areas of state activities. Today, it's time to look forward and to make the most out of the potential that decentralization has created. Um, no doubt this exchange of today will allow us to transfer what we have collectively learned and how to continue the, our work benefiting from each other experiences. Two interesting days lay ahead since the conference embraces all the key components of a successful local self-government, more down to earth, such as finance or institutions, but also more intangible and yet absolutely essential for building a sustainable model, which is trust. It allows creation of networks of practitioners, local traditions, and social processes conducive to cooperation. I wish you a very fruitful and intellectually engaging event. I'm personally looking forward to participating in the first panel with uh, Minister Chernyshov and my colleagues, ambassadors from Denmark, Germany, and Slovenia. Thank you very much. Дякую, пане посол. Я також очікую вашу першу панель. Думаю, вона буде дуже цікава. Thank you, Mr. Pasol. I'm also looking forward to our first panel discussion. I would simply like to say, and as a follow-up to what you said concerning the potential of the communities, the four years of our program of You Lead in Ukraine really shows that the investment into the development of municipalities goes back in the best way, pays back in the best way, and it really becomes impactful for what is bringing about change. Therefore, You Lead with You Europe is definitely, first of all, about that. And we are very proud that we have an opportunity to implement these things in Ukraine. And I would like to give the floor for once again welcome speech to someone who has really contributed so much, perhaps even more than all of us. This is Mr. Bastian Feigel, GIS Program Director of You Lead with Europe. Thank you very much, um, dear Yevgen. Um, thank you um, for um, giving me the floor. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to the second International Expert Exchange, Development of Municipalities, Trust, Institutions, Finance and People, organized by You Lead with Europe. Indeed, this year our forum differs a lot from the last one um, we had in December, the first one that we had, where we met in the House of Decentralization in Kiev. Actually, we needed almost a year 
I'd say, to bring, to, uh, to bring things together in a new normal after COVID-19 broke into our lives. To ensure everyone stays safe and well, this year the Expert Exchange is online broadcasted from the House of Decentralization and is again an outstanding opportunity to share the latest insights with each other and have an in-depth discussion on decentralization and local development in Ukraine, Europe and the world. And this exchange is timely. While this year remains a difficult one for all of us, no matter where we live, it will also go down in history as being one of the most important years for local self-government in Ukraine. With the recent local elections, Ukraine now has a new administrative territorial division with the potential to unleash local self-government and a substantial increase of the quality of life of all citizens in Ukraine. To get there, much has yet to be done. The new municipalities have to be enabled to provide high quality and inclusive public services based on sound financial management. ULEAD has always been a key partner of Romadas to tackle these challenges. And now we are also concentrating our efforts on accompanying the most newly created municipalities all over the country in their first steps towards becoming operational, effective and capable. Clearly, for local development and for you lead, the year 2020 was not easy and still important work has been done. Now, what comes next? This is what we will focus on during the next two days. I'm looking forward to discussing the future of local development with renowned experts and policymakers. I'm sure that the results will guide us as we plan the next steps to strengthen local government in Ukraine. I wish us all a pleasant and fruitful exchange and wish that everyone stays safe and healthy.